Okay, here's another GI biopsy. And this, uh, I had these pictures in the same folder as the Giardia pictures and, I, and they have been long lost in my, in my hard drive. And I was like, ah, look at these great pictures. I need to bring these to the light of day. So you guys, uh, dear residents, gave me the opportunity to do this. Thank you. Uh, for, you know, so much of the best work that I've done has been inspired slash forced by, by my former residents, fellows, med students, all my trainees who have been like, oh, please make this video or please post this thing. Or can you show an example of this? And otherwise I'd drag my feet, but I'll, but for my trainees, I'm like, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. And so, uh, without the, the, that extra push from all of the great, um, wonderful people that I've had the opportunity to train over the years, I, I would certainly have a lot less. Uh, productivity that I do have. Uh, so, so thank you for you guys for inspiring me. Okay, here's the, a close up view from the GI biopsy. You can see a little bit of, I think it was small bowel, I can't remember, a little bit of um, epithelium here, but really just kind of junk and, and mess, right? I'll show you one other picture. So, this is the, uh, the item, these are the items of interest here. What are these? Does anyone know? Entamoeba. Very good. Ent yes, entamoeba, right? Histolytica, they, they like to eat up the blood cells. And uh, I always am worried about missing amoebas because to my eye, they look a lot like, like a histiocyte, like a really big histiocyte, except that instead of having a purple or bluish nucleus like human cells have, their nucleus is this kind of reddish color. So like a big histiocyte with a red nucleus, I think here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one, there's the fragment of one, and there's one there. So entamoeba, there are several species. I think histolytica is the one that I, at least I learned as being most common. I'm not a gastrointestinal pathologist, but there are uh, several species of entamoeba. Um, and there are some other amoebas, like acanthamoeba, which can uh, involve the eye and also involve the skin. To my knowledge, I've never seen or at least not recognized the case of cutaneous amoeba. Uh, it's possible that amoebas have seen me looking up at me through the microscope, but I just didn't recognize them. But uh, hopefully not, because amoebiasis is a, is a potentially serious disease. So I am always worried that because I'm like, gosh, it, it, it really inflamed background that would blend right in, you know, and would be easy to miss. So uh, if any of you find a case of cutaneous amoeba, I would absolutely love a recut or at least pictures uh, because it's something that is, uh, at least in my practice, exquisitely rare um, and I, I've not encountered in the wild that I can recall. So those are examples here. And again, fragments of, yes, of probably degenerated red cells inside. So these are the, the trophozoite form of entamoeba. Uh, histolytica, probably. I, I don't know how to subspeciate the entamoebas, but... Uh, then let me see here back on, uh, yes. So, so here's my post here on Kiko about it. And again, I, uh, because Bobby Pritt has great stuff. I found, uh, the content she had. Here's a, a tweet she had made about it showing the, uh, the entamoeba cyst. So this is the different form. They have, uh, this was entamoeba coli. So they have a cyst form with multiple little, I guess, kind of baby amoebas in there. And then that breaks open. And then each of those grow up into the trophozoite form. And then, and that's in the GI tract. And then uh, through the through the feces, the both the cysts and the trophozoites can uh, leave the body. And then through the fecal oral route, can can uh, contaminated food or or whatever can uh, infect other uh, other people. So uh, gross, right? So here uh, here's her post where she explains this in more detail and some additional pictures. Oh, here on the CDC website, they have a nice. Uh, uh, amoebiasis life cycle. I, I find these oftentimes if I have any sort of infectious organism, especially one with a complicated life cycle, the CDC usually has a nice page that really kind of uh, breaks down the, the life cycle and, um, and the geographic distribution of different types of diseases. Very, very great uh, resource for infectious diseases. So I use their, their website a lot when I'm looking uh, to remind myself of the, uh, the uh, life cycle of a, an uncommon infection that I don't see very often in practice. So what we're looking at in this, in this uh, is the trophozoite and then uh, Dr. Pritt's uh, posts were uh, showing the uh, cyst form. Um, all right, good. Any questions or comments? Yes? Uh, in the chat, Dr. Montone shared a case of amoebic rhinitis. Mm. Um, so it's in the chat. Incredible. Let me let me pull this up. Amoebic rhinitis. Wow. Thank you, Dr. Montone. Cool. 
and you can see them. There's loads of amoebas there. That is crazy. Let me see. Will it let me go to the next? I gotta close. Oh, wow. That is amazing. I may ask you later if I can have permission to use uh, these photos. If you want me to clip it out of the video, I can do that. If you're cool with me leaving it in, I would love to. And uh, I would like to, to share the photos and post them more if you're cool with it. So just let me know uh, your preference. Sure. No pressure. Sure. This is a colonic biopsy and I have a great endoscopy too if you want to share. Sure. Oh, yes. You. I'm going to start giving you guys lectures more often. It's like you guys reward me with more pictures and all sorts of cool little infectious presents. Thank you. Yeah, and I can provide you the uh, amoebic uh, rhinitis. We published that. I published it with... Um, um, Lisa Rupert. Oh, um, cool. But cases, uh, so it's a, that's an AJSP, but our, our case is probably one of the earlier ones. We probably had HIV. Wow. Um, and um, anyway, they bi they biopsied the cytonasal tract and he uh, passed away. Oh, it's unfortunate. Yeah, that's definitely not a place you would typically think of, or at least not a place I typically think of seeing an amoeba infection, but Wow, that's that's pretty wild. And that what incredible pictures. Thank you both for for sharing these. Thank you. Okay, so amoebiasis.